Hey, I'm Ian Anderson, and in this video I'm going to show you how to reveal interesting info about movies in the Finder. Now, I'll show you some files here. Here's a WAV, I've got a JPEG, I've got an MP4, and I can't, by default, in the Finder see how long these files are or the codecs that they use. Now, to get that I could do Command I or Command Option I, which will show me the dimensions and other information about that movie. But I am here in list view and, you know, I, I'd like to be able to see that. Well, it turns out you can in a couple of very specific circumstances. So let me show you how that works. If you're in the Movies folder, you can actually right click and activate dimensions, codecs, duration and title. Any of these can be activated. And then you can sort by them. You can look at the information here. You can read the full information about the codec and time code, and you can see which files are big and small and long and short. So that's great. And the pictures folder can also do a weird trick. You've got dimensions and you've also got resolution here. And so if I activate these, then I can see, you know, is this a big file or a small file? And if I'm dealing with print, you know, is the resolution high enough to use? Now, you can't access that in a regular folder like this. At least not until you do a sneaky trick. So I'm going to put all of these into a new folder just to show you that I'm starting from scratch. And I'm going to give it a funky name. Now, if I was to open that out, you'll see that I don't have access to these columns. So I'm going to go back. Rather than a funky name, I just need to call it Movies. And now when I go in here, I can access Dimension, and duration, and title, and codex, and now all of these things will be accessible. Including, if you've exported from Final Cut Pro, the title. So don't just change the file name, make sure the title is correct if you're using Final Cut Pro to export, just because somebody might see it. Now, if I go back, I don't want this to be called Movies anymore, so I'm going to hit Undo, Command Z, and it goes back to being funky name. But I've still got all of these and they work. I can sort by duration or by dimensions, and I can see that I've got, yeah, a huge file there, 8K by 6K. This is pretty handy stuff. It's a really good idea to consider doing this if you have a central output folder, like I use here, because it's a really quick way to see, okay, what's the longest file, what's the biggest dimensions file that I've done, and it's just an extra way to keep organized. If you found that helpful and you use Final Cut Pro and you want to make picture-in-picture -picture effects like this one, then you might want to check out PipKit, my latest product on FX Factory. It's on sale at the moment and I hope you like it. Cool, thanks very much. I'll see you later.